Welcome to December 21 edition of Podcasting News Review. The timely source of news that is important to IDA pro- providers in our community. December is Universal Human Rights Month. For more information, visit par.net. As you know, the Pennsylvania State Legislature agreed with the administration deciding how to spend the funds generated by the 10% HCBS specific FMAP bump. On December 1st, DHS ODP received conditional approval of their spending plan. The provider attestation required by DHS ODP to receive the one-time COVID relief funding is due by January 31st, 2022. Providers may receive up to 5% of their annual ODP administered HCBS waiver claims for a total relief in our funding in our system of $200 million. We continue to hear that DHS ODP is close to releasing the revised rates for the ODP administered waiver rates. DHS ODP announced that they plan to invest $400 million in the revised rates and to make, and to make most of the rates effective January 1st with only the adult autism waiver being retroactively effective to July 1 of 2021. The Build Back Better bill has stalled in the U.S. Senate as West Virginia Senator Manchin announced he would vote against the bill. The bill may be reconsidered next year. Pennsylvania IDA providers have begun receiving funding from the fourth distribution of the Provider Relief Fund from HRSA. Please go to www.par.net forward slash action hyphen center to contact your House and Senate members to support PAR's advocacy efforts. Remember to follow PAR on Facebook and Twitter to check out, like, and share our posts. Be sure to tag the governor, your state and federal legislators to help spread our message. Thanks for tuning in to PAR to know. Stay safe over the holidays, everybody, and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Thank you.